So we're going to draw the pivot point body here and get some different kind of poses. And I've already drawn the first step, which is the center line. Here's my template. So this is the center balance line. My next step is to draw the two main pivot points. And I'm going to start here with pivot point number three and pivot point number four, right in the center, on this vertical balance line. Then we're going to work with the rib cage, which is this upper piece right here. I'm, and I'm going to imitate this pose over on the right. So I'm going to press my pen in to the center pivot point, turn the template to the same angle that the pose is on the right, and draw everything in that is in that area. Including all of these lines which are the same kind of seam lines that are on a dress form. Including the neck, the lower part of the shoulder. Then I'm going to reposition my template to the lower pivot point and go in the opposite direction. I don't want to go too much or it gets too extreme. Here's the angle of the hips and I'm going to square that off a little bit and draw just this part of the pelvis to here which is pretty much a wedge right in there. And I'm also going to draw in center front, which is where the red line actually appears now. In this position, I'm going to draw the two, uh, two new pivot points, which are for the top of the leg. Then we're going to come back and go to number five, which is the neck. And I'm going to find that pivot point. It was over here the pit of the neck, here's that center line, and from the pit of the neck the head has to come back over the balance line, and what I'm going to do here is the side of the neck pulls down the shoulder, this side is contracted and actually comes a little bit in front, and the head which can turn, for now I'm just going to put an oval in here and some basic guidelines for where this face is. But remember that it can turn in, it can turn as a side view, it can turn in multiple directions. Now we're going to go to the legs, and I'm going to go to pivot point number six, which is this one over here. That is the weight bearing leg. That's the hip that's up. That leg is going to come directly underneath, and it's a straight leg. So I'm going to draw it. I'm going to draw a new pivot point for where the knee is in case I want to bend the knee. Calf muscle, and you see that for fashion drawing, it is very, very elongated from the calf muscle to the ankle. And the heel, which is just kind of a generic heel, into here. So this is pivot point number six. We're going to go over to number seven, which is the other leg. I'm going to line up that pivot point, and we do one pivot point at a time. It doesn't matter about any of the others. The others are all in other places, only one. This is the play leg, so it can go anywhere. And for now, I'm going to draw it coming out. Here's the other pivot point in case I want to bend the knee. And this leg coming down, and if I want to angle this toe back down, I can put another pivot point at the ankle, and I can turn the foot slightly and angle it down to the floor. Then I'm going to come up and do the arms, and we're going to go to pivot point number eight, which is the shoulders, so I have to find that. Right on the corner here, I'm going to put both of them in and start with this arm, which I can see over here is swinging out. So I'm going to swing it out, swing the arm out, 
draw in that part of the arm until we get to the elbow, which is another pivot point. Swing that back. And what I can do is swing it back till it's hitting the side of the leg. There's another pivot point at the wrist, and I can swing the hand right down on the side of the leg. And we're going to get to the other one. I'm going to go back up to the other pivot point, which is up here. Swing that arm. is mostly down to the side. I'm going to swing it down. Here's the elbow pivot point. Wrist pivot point. Let's bring the hand angled in. And now what I can do is give this some refinement. So here's the waist, which is actually right in the middle between the rib cage and the pelvis. And this is going to make a little more of an hourglass. I'm going to curve around these forms. Here's the angle of the shoulders and the angle of the hips. This hip is up. It's the weight-bearing leg, which means this leg is directly underneath the hip, and it might even angle in a little bit more. Here's our balance line. This is where the weight is distributed on the floor, and we come up here to the head, and the head is pretty much in the middle.